Yo guys and welcome back towards this new video here on the channel and on today's video I will be going over Bitcoin and I will be talking about this 12 hour divergence that once again occurred on the market yesterday What we also did discuss on the market yesterday and what I right now want to be discussing since the last three times that this signal did played out and this signal did occur the market moved up at least 30% towards the upside so make sure to watch this video till the end it's going to be definitely a very interesting one as well we will be talking about different market structures here across the market on Bitcoin. And there's a lot of other things that we still have to discuss with you guys out there. So without any further ado, let me start on with diving in towards the one hour time frame. But I mean, before I dive in towards this one hour time frame, I quickly want to ask you guys to smash up that like button. The YouTube algorithm is being extremely hard. So it will be highly appreciated if you can go right now below this video and smash up the like button. It will be highly appreciated. And let's dive in towards the content for real now. So what we can see here on the market is that Bitcoin basically formed this major V-shaped recovery back towards the upside, right? After this V-shaped recovery, Bitcoin is right now starting to create some kind of a symmetrical triangle, a real kind of a continuation pattern and a real kind of a consolidation pattern on the market. I'm currently expecting that this consolidation pattern is going to consolidate for the coming hours in towards yeah, the afternoon today. And then we are probably going to see a breakout. The likeliest way where it is going to be breaking out towards is definitely going to be towards the upside since it is a bullish bias pennant. We formed a move towards the upside, then we formed a consolidation and that is why it's likely to see an expectation for a breakout towards the upside. So that is definitely very interesting to look at right now here. And the one hour time frame is also formed at higher high than the previous highs over here, really confirming that we are right now looking for an uptrend over here and that we're really confirming that we're looking for higher highs to get created on this market. So, I am actually pretty excited. If you would ask me on the imminent short term, then on the 4 hourly time frame, I think we should be talking about the same. First of all, we have been forming that higher high on the market, really confirming that we are looking for these new higher highs on the market again. And also, if we're looking at the RSI, we can currently see we formed that bullish divergence on the RSI, we formed that bullish divergence on the MACD, and what is very important to know that usually after these bullish divergence, there is a major market trend reversal, not this only significant movement towards the upside. No, this bullish, these bullish divergence are basically suggesting that we're going to get a trend reversal, not necessarily a minor move up only. So I'm really expecting as well to see that trend reversal to emerge right now on the market, right? And uh, let me see if I can get this back here exactly. So what I'm really waiting for right now and what I'm really expecting is that we're going to get this bigger trend reversal. Also look at how exponential the lows came towards the downside and look on less exp exponential we're currently starting to get, right? More exponential movement down here and right now we're consolidating and forming really the bottom in here. We formed only, if we're going to be very honest with you guys out there, the bottom was only 1% lower. And look at the lows that we were forming before. We formed the low over here. The next low was right away 4% lower. Then we formed the low over here. Next low was right away 2.4% lower. Then we formed the low over here. The next low was right away 6 or 7% lower. Right now we're forming only a 1.5% lower low here with a bullish divergence, what we were not seeing over there. And that is really why I do think that this is the trend reversal signal, of course. Because, yeah, trends not always move in the same direction for a very long time here. They tend to reverse there. And this is definitely an, a position where the market can really reverse its trend again from off. I mean, we've been close with such kind of a trend reversal, but right now we are very close with such kind of a trend reversal. And then really talking about a trend reversal, I mean... If we're really going to look at all the uptrends we created since the beginning of this year, since January, right? Because the first bullish divergence on the 12 hour was created January in this range of 90 days. We've created four bullish divergence on the 12 hour time frame. And yesterday I've been warning you guys for this movement, uh, even though uh, we were not even putting the highs in yet here. I was already warning you guys for the same structure. But right now... We confirmed that bullish divergence, right? Since we formed that higher low, um, since we formed that yeah, beautiful 12 hour time frame over there. And right now it's confirmed bullish divergence. So that is absolutely amazing. And if we're going to look back towards all these bullish divergence, right? Here on 24th of, Je uh, of January, we've created this bullish divergence. We moved up approximately 39% towards the upside. And these were only the only four bullish divergence we create in this region over here, right? Then we create another one on the 24th of February. Pretty interesting, exactly a month later, we moved up approximately 32%. And also, do you know about how these lows are getting more high, right? Or higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low. We are forming higher lows along the way up, and people still say we're on a downtrend. 
or in a bear market. In a bear market, you don't really form these higher lows on the market, man. That is not what you tend to see. Then the last time around, we formed another bullish divergence and Bitcoin moved up another 28% here towards the higher side of this region. So basically what we can say is that the average return of such kind of a bullish divergence on the 12 hour time frame in this region we're currently trading on is around to 28%. And what we can also say is that a bullish divergence on the 12 hour time frame is really a signal for a larger time frame uptrend because look at all these moves. These moves took around here. Here, this move took around 17 days here. This move took around five or six days. And this move over here took around, let me see. Oh, this is even wrong measured. And this move over here took around the 15 days. So what we can really argue about is that this is basically a signal for at least an uptrend for the coming week here on Bitcoin. I at least am expecting as well as similar structures towards the upside. And if we're then going to look for a 30% movement towards the upside, what is an average return of this movement? We are going to already look for levels around 50,000 US dollars for Bitcoin. And will I be getting surprised if we're indeed going to see that 50,000 US dollars for Bitcoin getting reached here? Um, no, actually not here. I think it is actually pretty likely to occur after seeing this history once again repeating with each other. And then going even further in towards the history, guys, look at this. I've been warning you guys that there is a potential fake out. I've been talking about it for the past uh, three, four days on the channel. And yesterday we did got it. And look at how every single time we are first of all going to be focusing on this upper sloping trend line, right? Let's focus on this upper sloping trend line. We can see we formed a beautiful trend line with a lot of touch points. And three times we've been really seeing a fake out, right? And what happened every single time we created that fake out? We flushed out long positions, we moved up. What have we done again? We flushed that long position over here. And what did we do right away afterwards? We moved up exponentially. And once again, guys, I don't want to I mean, I don't want to be the, the optimist here, but this is looking pretty awesome optimistic, if you would ask me. The 12 hour bullish divergence. Together with that, that that wick on the lower side getting created, really suggesting we're going to get another similar move towards the upside. So the 12 hour time frame is really telling we are bullish. Um the, the daily time frame right now as well is once again playing at such kind of a fractal, like an history, an historic signal on Bitcoin is once again occurring. So it is actually starting to get pretty interesting about how this market is going to develop from of this region on forwards. So I'm not actually not too bad to bearish at all over here. And as well, if we're going to really look at this inverse and his shoulders, it has been bouncing from of this region beautifully. And I mean, you can see all these red arrows are all the touch points we could created on this inverse and his shoulders. And basically as well on this trend line in general. And you can clearly see this has been a trend line with a lot of significance and Bitcoin bounced so strongly from it. There's a huge amount of demand on that region. And I wouldn't be surprised to actually see that exponential rally to get created from here on. We created and flushed out some long positions. And right now we really have the, uh, the momentum to pay. probably start this movement towards the upside again after creating that very strong divergence, of course. And after creating that very strong reversal, I want to be seeing the momentum to climb further on for Bitcoin towards that upside, right? Um, so also very important. I've discussed this for the past three videos. And really looking at the 50 and 200 moving average, we can really say when, um, we can really identify, I should say, when we are in a bullish market or a bearish market. And right now we are in a bullish market. We got that bullish crossover. And really this is telling us that we are in entering these more of these bullish stages. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but we are in bullish market stages. And this is, of course, a very huge signal, the signal we're currently seeing on the market. And I actually wouldn't be surprised to really see that uptrend getting started from here on. After that cross, we yeah, we usually tend to see just more bullish price section come towards the market for the coming period of let's say 150 days ahead of ourselves, right? So I won't I won't really be expecting much more downside from here on. I am not really expecting that. I don't think it's likely. 40k is a very strong level of support. We've been holding on towards this very well enough. And um, on chain, we are seeing a huge amount of accumulation starting. It is actually not too bad of a region uh, to accumulate. And it's also not a region where I'm not expecting exponential price action from. Because it can just happen tomorrow. It can just happen today. Things can start to change very quickly. Talking about Bitcoin on the weekly time frame. We were about to have that bearish close over on the weekly time frame. And look at how strongly Bitcoin recovered. After seeing that pump here, it recovered the bearish divergence. Uh, bearish close over in towards a neutral one. We're not crossing bearish, we're just holding up ever so slightly. So that's also pretty nice to see for Bitcoin holding up towards that region. So that is very lovely to see. Also, weekly, still got a very strong upward sloping. 
support getting created here what you can see we are forming just a very strong amount of support here on the weekly time frame for bitcoin and we're just holding up towards this very well of course as well if we're looking at the monthly i mean i'm starting to get pretty excited here of course i don't really think that a lot of people are looking to to the monthly but if you already have no opinion or no clue what to do with bitcoin just buy and hold i should say because look at this uh this consolidation pattern here a bullish consolidation pattern on the four early time frame right we're forming a bullish bias ascending triangle here on the movement up here this is extremely bullish and um, i mean it is also really showing us that we are at these low risk of accumulation stages and that is also starting to get my myself pretty excited so I don't really think we should to we should be all too bearish right here on this market. Also talking about being bearish, the majority of people are bearish. Also on Twitter, I see the fear. Once I tweet something bullish, everyone goes, "Oh my gosh!" But we're going to come down anyways. 20k, it's 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 coming, it's coming, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. I don't really think it's going to happening. Uh, I don't really think it's going to be happening here on this market. Also, the fear and greed index trading on 27. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty low. It's pretty low um also talking about something important is my trade very important i should say because yes guys uh i mean i've been holding my trade open i showed once that my trade was in profit i showed once my trade was in loss and of course it was last time i ran in the loss but this is a swing trade a swing trade can uh go on the water for a bit it can go up uh, for a bit but what is mainly important with a swing trade is that you're not going to panic sell and that you're going to average more towards your price so um, that's exactly what I've done. Um, I'm just still averaging in towards the price action of Bitcoin. And I have a very low leverage um, very low leverage on this trade. So I'm basically taking very low, low risk for very high potential towards the upside. Because yeah, I personally think if I'm going to make a balance up is that the potential for Bitcoin to go towards the upside is way higher for the potential for Bitcoin to come towards the downside. So I'm actually very happy with this trading position I've got open. So far, I'm only in 7,000 US dollars in profit. It's not a crazy profit, but I think the crazy profits are going to come once the rally is going to start and the volatility and the interest is going to come back in towards the market. What it is probably going to come in uh, someday over here, right? So uh, I'm very excited with this trading position I've got open. If you do want to be swing trading as well, check out Bybit in the link description. If you do use my link, you will be getting a 4,800 US dollars deposit bonus. And guys, I personally think that this could be one of those legendary swing trades here on the market. If you're really going to look at the daily time frame, what I want to be saying here is that there's still a very big possibility we're going to come down. But I am still accumulating more in towards this trading position because I've also set up an order on the 34,000 US dollars where it will be basically accumulate further in towards my trade again. Because if the market is going to come down, I will be just accumulate more in towards my trading position. Right now, the platform is yeah a little bit uh, lagging. I can't seem to reload it. Pretty unfortunate. But anyways, guys, this was already it for today's update video. Hopefully, you did learn something from it. Hopefully, uh, if you did enjoy it, make sure to smash up the like button and subscribe to the channel. And here's the side back here. So, um, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure to like the video. The algorithm is very hard on YouTube. So, every single like will be highly appreciated. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Goodbye.